Uh, good morning, my name is Hatim Ayman Tawfiq. When you embark on your very first few endoscopic DCR cases, all your knowledge, your previous knowledge of anatomy that was important or pertinent to uh, external DCR, like the anatomy of the angular vessels, the surgical anatomy of the angular vessels, the uh, anterior lacrimal crest, the suture and alpha, etc., placement of the incision does not have any bearing. Uh, when you're doing endoscopic DCR. While what we should focus on while uh, learning endoscopic DCR is the uh, endoscopic anatomy of the lateral nasal wall. And this, as you can see here, uh, the, the first thing that you should learn, this is an endoscopic view of the left uh, na nasal cavity. We don't have to learn an anatomy like an uh, e ENT surgeons. All what we need to know is anatomy pertinent to our endoscopic DCR. As the first thing that you look, should look for is the septum, as you can see here on the left uh, it's a part of the image. And then the landmark that you should really look for is the middle turbinate, and then the axilla of the middle turbinate. The axilla of the middle turbinate uh, is uh, the exact locating the axilla of the middle turbinate is of paramount importance because this is where you operate in uh, endoscopic DCR. Uh, as as demonstrated here by the words AX, and this is where exactly where you will, you will operate. First, you inject local. No need to inject local under the skin. You only inject local uh, under the mucosa and under the middle turbinate. Then you create the nasal mucosal flap. And care should be taken that the this initial incision should extend post, uh, as deep as to the periosteum. Should be, otherwise you'll get significant bleeding. Then you reflect the mucosa back posteriorly because you reflect it again at the end of uh, surgery and then you uh, 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 widen the uh, break the bone at the maxillolacrimal suture and then you start with a big round jewel to remove bone checking with the assistant pressing uh, on, on subcutaneously to make sure every uh, every now and then that the, uh, the, the window is adequate it's not adequate yet so you complete uh, they cut with the removing of the monofrontal process of the maxilla until the entire uh, length of the lacrimal sac is exposed. Then, with one of the, uh, you, you, uh, then you start with a, 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 a probe, lacrimal probe. You tent the sac, uh, taking care not to uh, make a through cut or a for through and through cut. And then you insert or introduce a, a, a fake knife to. Uh, incise the sac and completely separate the sac into an anterior and posterior uh, flaps as you can see here uh, in the uh, make sure don't uh, make sure that this, that the flaps are completely separated and then the posterior flap is reflected backwards and then uh, you pass uh, a, a, a probe into the sac to make sure the sac is wide open from the uh, level of the mid, uh, from the from the upper punctum, and then reflect the nasal mucosal flap back. You're trying to simulate the conditions of external DCR where two flaps are adhered together, and then you pass the tube, and you are done.